Yeah, you lose your name, your family will never know, you lose all your friends, you have nobody. And if you are arrested, we don't know you. And then all sorts of people started in the neighborhood asking about me, my family, everybody, I had security clearance. It was uh, worth every minute of it, I think, and I hope that, that people realize how, how important the, the women were in, in the OSS effort. He got to talking and he, and he found out that I had been studying Japanese and that I was a newspaper woman. And uh, he said, well, would you like to work for the government? And, and I said, well, yeah, but on one condition that I want to go overseas because that's where I think all the action is. And he said, I think I can guarantee that. And I said, well, then what would I do? And he said, I can't tell you until you sign up with us. And then that's how I, I got in. I was curious, but I did want to see some action. And that was what happened to me. That there was a sizable number of Czechs and Slovaks working as labor for the Germans. So we hit them with a leaflet called uh, uh, on, well, inviting them to cross the lines. And for that, um, 600 guys that crossed the lines and deprived the German army of labor, I got my bronze star. Uh, I mean, London was not a, not a walk in the park. We had the V1s and V2s in the, from 40s. Um, and a few Dorniers, Junkers, and I mean, <laughs> there was the London docks were known as Buzz Bomb Alley, and uh, it really wasn't um, wasn't fun. <laughs> but I mean, we were all fatalists, and uh, if your name's on it, so be it. If you survive, well, lucky you. Um, the story was. If you heard a V2, uh, chances are you'd survive. If you didn't, it didn't matter anyway, because you'd be gone. The V1s were nasty. They really were very nasty. You all didn't have those, did you? No. But the king and queen would always go. The flag, the, the royal standard always flew on Buckingham Palace. They'd never left London, and they would go down to where the worst bombing had been uh, in person. And, oh, what a morale builder, and so would Churchill. Uh, believe you me, uh, the war plans, I think I'm right in saying the German war plans, are America was next. Uh, the U-boats were all ready, and uh, if, if, if that had happened, uh, you'd all be speaking German on one coast and Japanese on the other, probably.